Hi, I'm Dave with Utah Physical Therapy. I wanted to make a video to show how I use a scoliometer to monitor and measure the magnitude of a scoliosis curve. I use this a lot in evaluations and in screening of scoliosis to determine how, you know, how bad the scoliosis is and to also document the rotation of the spine. As we look at scoliosis when we have someone bend forward, the rib hump that we see is because of the rotation in the spine and that's what this is measuring. So we can measure how bad that is and how much it's progressing or regressing with this. So this is the scoliometer that I use. It has a little ball that goes back and forth that will tell us what degree that curve is at. And anything over a five degree curve is uh, a positive finding and can be used for referral. Um, the notch right here is where the spinous process is going to be. So uh, let's show you how to use it. So this is Dawson, the little monkey up here. So come stand right here, Dawson. What you're going to have the, the person do is bend forward with their hands together like they're diving into a pool. So they're just going to round their back. And you're going to take the scoliometer and put it at a right angle to the back. So we don't want it to be like this or like this. We want it to be just like that with the spinous process right in the middle of the scoliometer. And then you're going to go from the top to the bottom, holding this, trying to see, keeping it over the spinous process, and trying to see if there's a curve, and using that reading to guide you. You want them to bend forward so that it maximizes the uh, the deformity. So if they have a rib hump you want them to bend forward as far as it goes until you see the rib hump the worst. Same in the low back. In the lumbar spine though what can happen is tight hamstrings can make it so that they're not bending forward as far. If that's the case then you can have them sit down or bend their knees so that they can bend forward further so that you can take this down and get a good reading on that lumbar curve too. So biggest thing is to just let it sit on top of the skin. Don't push it one way or the other and influence the reading. And then you just go down and, and go to the area of maximal deformity in the thoracic, maximal deformity in the lumbar, record that, and that's your reading. So hopefully that uh, gives a little bit more information on how we use the scoliometer. And thank you, Dawson. So until next time.